Hi, I'm Kartha Gewert, and this is Mold Anne. How are you, Mold Anne? You getting old these days? Today I am eating Happy Meals. I'm gonna try to compare the different Happy Meals from different restaurants. I'm an adult, I haven't had a Happy Meal in a very long time, and I feel like people don't care anymore. Instead of like the classic Happy Meal box, I just got this bag, like, hello? Part of the Happy Meal is like the packaging. We've got a tiny little juice for, here from McDonald's. We've got a tiny little fry. That's a lot of fries though for a little kid. My staff is gonna be really happy today with all the food that they get to eat. We have the classic apple slices. The apple slices used to come with caramel, do they still? What is this? Yogurt? Okay. Four nuggets! It's not enough! I didn't even know nuggets came in four. Okay, well on the bright side, sorry everybody, I'm eating this whole thing. Maybe you can have yogurt if you want some. As a 90s kid, when I went to McDonald's, I, I got to play in this entire play place. And they've since shut those down because kids care more about iPads these days and they were actually very dangerous and unsanitary, but the toys I feel are also quite lacking. What even is that? It's a battleship thing. You wanna play Battleship? Battleship, yogurt, the apple slices don't even come with caramel anymore, and you only get like four measly nuggets? At least you get sweet and sour. However, that being said, McDonald's is one of the finest fast food restaurants there is, like, and I've had this before. It's gonna taste good. Of course it is. I have heard that they put some um, calcium ascorbate, ascorbate? Calcium ascorbate. They put calcium ascorbate on here to maintain the colors of the apples, so the apples don't go brown. I've always thought that McDonald's apples are like, they stay pretty for a very long time. And when I was younger, I always wondered why. These taste like a vegetable. I don't like that. I need scissors. No kid would ever be able to open this by themselves. Nor would they want to. Nor would they want to. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've always found yogurt in a little tube to be very appetizing. Like, look at that. Yummers. I don't know why. I just think it looks so, it just looks like candy, you know? Mm. Only three grams of sugar. Only 25 calories in this thing? Mm. Mm. Very good. This is a tough decision because I'm actually, come with me. By come with me, I mean stay with me here. I have a tier list that I'm going to make of the Happy Meals. For clarity purposes, we're calling all of them Happy Meals, but McDonald's has the Happy Meal branding. I really would like to put McDonald's in S tier because they invented it, but I haven't tried the others yet. So I'm gonna give it A for now. We'll see how that goes. As a Canadian, this is probably going to be my first and last time eating Chick-fil-A. Um, that being said, I really want to know what all of the Americans in my Discord are consistently talking about when they talk about Chick-fil-A. I've never had this before. I know what it looks like because every time I go to the States, I always see these fries on every cafeteria table. This kid's meal was supposed to come with a little book but it didn't. I don't know if I should deduct points from that or not. Maybe we should just focus on the food because there are problems you can find with this brand. The sauce here is Chick-fil-A sauce. It doesn't even say sweet and sour. It doesn't say like honey mustard. It just says Chick-fil-A sauce. Once again, we have a four piece. I love fried chicken, but Chick-fil-A is so popular. And I guess I'm about to find out why. These are the tiniest little things. So tiny. It came with a fruit punch as well. This is a lot of fries for a kid. Like why give them only like one bite of chicken, one bite of protein and the rest is all carbs. I don't know. Four nuggets does not seem like a lot. That being said, when I was a kid, I used to eat a quarter of a fish filet from McDonald's. So we'll see. Mmm. Oh. Have you ever had Chick-fil-A before? How do you eat chicken? Oh yeah, you're vegetarian. <laughs> it is really tasty. The fries are kind of kind of bad, but the chicken, mmm. <gasps> it's better than chicken nuggets. Of course. 100%. All right. I hate to do this, but where's my Chick-fil-A stamp? I'm freaking out right now because like I don't want them to be on S, but they're really good. <sighs> If I had this as a kid, I'd be absolutely ecstatic. I can't... <sighs> mm! Ew! Red lobster kids meal? You gotta be kidding me. Like, what am I gonna do, eat a lobster? Oh, oh, they've got the lemon butter. They've got sour cream. 
Is this a lobster tail? This is a kid's lobster tail. People get this yeah. for their kids. Yeah. What is the kid gonna do with this many biscuits? Hi, my name is Gertrude the Third. I'm 16. Oh, I'm six years old. And this is my kid's meal. See, you take the lobster. I prefer my lobster with a little dip of lemon butter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Could do without the biscuit. This is just a <laughs> potato. Straight up fat potato. Ooh, I hate it. As I eat the whole lobster, like I can't say no to lobster. Lobster is absolutely delicious, but like, I don't know if I would have liked this as a kid. So lobster, butter, fantastic combo. Potato, three biscuits. It's just kind of awkward to me. I don't like it. I feel like this is too fishy for what I would have liked as a kid, but I guess I am rating these as an adult. And as an adult, I don't like it either. <laughs> when I think Happy Meal, I think inexpensive. I think $13 is like a bit too expensive. You can get a $13 meal at any fast food place. That being said, this is a little bit healthier. It's just like a baked potato and a lobster tail, but it's not making me happy. I don't like it. It kind of deserves a D. I might have to move it down. I feel like the lobster kids meal doesn't make any sense because it's just lobster and then carbs and more carbs. And there's like no veggies. There's like no nothing to like balance it out. McDonald's tried to hit you up with like some apples, some yogurt. They tried to make it well-rounded. Chick-fil-A actually didn't try to make it well-rounded, but that chicken was, it was really good. I just, I don't want to talk about it. I do like the taste of the lobster, but I don't want to just eat lobster and lemon butter and carbs. Like if your kid is cultured enough to eat a lobster tail in the first place, surely they could eat some like asparagus or broccoli or like something on the side. Burger King, yay! They got big fries at Burger King. Like even for a kid, that's a lot of fries. A Whopper Junior, very good size for a little burger. A Whopper has a lot on it and then kids bites. I guess this is like their answer to Chick-fil-A's chicken. Hopefully it's better. A chicken and a burger. That's pretty chicken good. and a burger. Yeah, it's a lot and a shake. Look how gigantic. I mean, this was 60 cents extra, but like this is way too much. It's very tasty, but like as someone who doesn't like to like drink sugar, it's a lot for me. Look at this little baby Whopper. Oh, it's so cute. Adorable. This didn't come with sauce like it did at Chick-fil-A. So it's just chicken and there's ketchup, but I don't like ketchup, so. <laughs> Look at the inside of this. What is it? Oh, oh, there's macaroni and cheese in this. I will say that the Whopper is a great burger. It's the thing that put Burger King on the map. And this Junior Whopper tastes exactly like a big Whopper. It's a reasonable size. I don't know whose idea this was, but it was a horrendous idea. But like the burger, the fries, the shake, they all taste very good. It doesn't feel like a well-balanced meal like I was talking about before, but it doesn't gross me out like Red Lobster. That was just about Red Lobster there. I know. I'm glad we moved it down. This is my dad's, one of my dad's favorite restaurants, Swish LA. A big deal being made for rotisserie chicken. Oh, this one comes with juice. A little zebra on it. Cute. I assume this is the, oh! Dirt and Worms, an absolute classic. Their patented gravy, which I will say, very delicious. That is a large portion. If I was a kid, I would have drank it. So I don't know how safe that is. And they give you plum sauce as well. So they give you a different choice of sauces, chicken nuggets, fries, dirt and worms, and uh, sauce. It's a pretty good combo. The chicken strip with the gravy is very good because there's nothing else like it. It's got that Swish LA taste. Mmm, I'm actually impressed. So all of this goes very well with apple juice, I will say. Dirt and worms. It's only one worm, but this is a really good portion. If you're not aware of what dirt and worms is, it's essentially like chocolate pudding, gummy worm, and Oreos, like cookie crumble on top. It sounds like very overpowering, but it's very good. I actually really like this meal. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. <laughs> Swish LA, you impress me. You really do. Time to eat fresh. This is Subway. Now, I recently read on Reddit that the bread in Subway in some countries has too high of sugar content to classify as bread due to their regulation. I mean, I've been eating Subway sandwiches ever since I was a kid. I used to go swimming and then rollerblading and then I'd work out and then I'd do sit-ups. Like, I was like a really weird hyperactive kid and Subway always hit the spot for me. Now, with this, oh, is that just turkey? So, essentially, they're giving you a six inch. Yeah. Yeah, they're giving you a six inch. There is like a very strong sweetness to it. Six inch, two cookies, and a drink. It's a good, well-rounded meal. I just don't like Subway. I can't even, I can't, I can't. So you're a little kid trying to get into your Boston Pizza Caesar salad and you cut your 
thumb to death. Anyways, Caesar salad, juice box, cookie. This is Boston pizza, by the way, Canadian branch and the cutest little tiny pizza. This is a well-rounded meal. I respect this. I need to wash my hands though and put a Band-Aid on. Caesar salad, I mean, we all know how it's gonna go. It's just romaine lettuce and croutons. I just like the fact that there's a salad involved and Caesar dressing, I mean, it's good, but that's just way too much dressing for a kid. It is nice they put the dressing on the side so it doesn't get soggy. Now, I hate this pizza, but it's like one of the instant pizzas a kid would like. This is the kind of pizza you get at the arcade and like you're thrilled. Super cheesy. You only get one topping on the kids pizza. Kids are simple. Plain cheese pizza. Okay, this is a good cookie. You know why? It's very soft. Mm. I'm pleased. I'm pleased with this. Orange juice goes good with it. Mm. I've noticed that there's not many toys in these kids meals, but I feel like kids have everything they need these days in their phones, so. I am impressed by Boston Pizza. I'm gonna put it up here with Swiss Chalet. Actually, you know what? There's no reason why it shouldn't be up here with McDonald's. Although, like, I do prefer the nug- Like, if you said nuggets or pizza. Let's talk about a little restaurant that I've never thought to go to in my life. Unless I'm in an airport. This is the Harvey's Kids Meal. Um. What? Okay, cheese fries. Interesting. It's poutine. This is not poutine. Yes, it is. It's gravy, it's cheese, but a lot of people think that it's just any gravy and any cheese. Actually, the type of gravy and cheese you use are crucial to poutine. That's why I think this is very ambitious, because if it's wrong, I'm looking at the F. Ew, God! Oh, doesn't Harvey's make burgers? But the kids get the hot dogs. Maybe it's because I've eaten so much food already, I'm like full, but like, honey, no. This looks like mozzarella. This does not look like poutine cheese. No, no, bad. Okay, so this is vegetarian gravy, which I actually don't have that big of a problem with for poutine, but there's just so much sugar in it that it's just so sweet. And this cheese, like it needs to be like, you know, it needs to be like the Montreal, like squeaky cheese. Uh, otherwise it's not a poutine and I won't eat. I feel really bad. Do it, chicken. Listen, I'm like, I eat you in airports and you do a good job, but today's just not your day for me. <sighs> But okay, I need to make sure. Hey, taste that gravy. No. The last time I was in LA, I was like, oh my goodness, like In and Out is good, but like we should go to AW one of these days. And they were like, what's that? Welcome to the AW experience. Fruit to go, chocolate milk, Star Wars band aid, Boston pizza really got me good, root beer sucker. I can, I can live with that. AW, what do you feed your kids? Oh, I really don't want to be one of those like strict moms that like doesn't let her kid eat anything, but like, this is actually scaring me. I mean, I'll let them have it every once in a while, but I hope they'll like my cooking more. Oh, that's so cute. Little chicken buddy burger. <laughs> chicken buddy burger, and W fries. Their fries are absolutely delicious. Chocolate milk, gotta shake her well. It's hard to open things with this Band-Aid. Honestly, I kind of want to demote Boston Pizza for messing my finger up so badly. Like that's dangerous. Oh, but I guess if I'm the mom, I'll open it for them. Will you open this? I can't, oh, there's my, my thumb don't work. Will you kiss my boo-boo? Mm, oh. No, you're supposed to eat your burger first. Mm, root beer sucker. Chicken buddy burger. Ooh, it's got pickles. Mm -hmm. Chubby chicken at a &W is very, very good. I like that. Their fries, very good. Mm, I told you to open this for me. <laughs> I thought you meant just I can't, I've got a Band-Aid on. The keto life is getting value. We all know that we're poisoning ourselves when we eat fast food and our children as well. But like, it's really nice when you get a bunch of different things like this fruit leather. Ooh, that's a good one. Nice fruit to go. You did it. Milk to go. Soccer to go. Mm. I would be thrilled. Absolutely thrilled with this. We've completed all of our food. I'm just gonna make sure that this is accurate. All right, because I don't really know where to put a &W yet. I feel like a &W really knocked this out of the park. Thinking back, the Chick-fil-A was, what was it, chicken and fries, and that's it. I didn't even like the waffle fries. I was just, I was blown away by the chicken. So I'm gonna reorganize this. Just chicken alone, Chick-fil-A does win. But we're talking about Happy Meals. We're not talking about my biases. As far as Happy Meals go, McDonald's, are you an S tier? I think a &W deserves the S. Good fries, good burgers, good fruit leather. They have their own sucker. a &W wins because they have the most well-rounded, like, mm, I get to eat a bunch of different things. McDonald's, it's good for the same reasons as a and It's just that they don't have the sucker at the end. The toy's garbage, nobody wants it. Like, I, I took it down from S because the toy is so garbage. Swish LA, Boston Pizza, and Chick-fil-A, uh, any kid would be thrilled to go with their parents here. Burger King, 
Why are you in C? That's really low for you. Because of the macaroni bites, I think. Oh yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Subway, it's just not good. Red Lobster, it's just like carbs in a lobster tail, like get over yourself. And Harvey's very offensive, deeply offensive, but they do make a good burger when you're starving. <laughs> that is my Happy Meal fast food tier list. I know that I couldn't try them all, but this is the most that I could humanly eat in one day. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know where you just viciously disagree with me because I'd really like to know. <laughs> And don't come for me. This is all just based on flavor, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.